What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is actually a request from you all. It's going to be focusing on makeup organization and also packing your makeup for travel. This video is going to be for the average person. If you're someone that needs to pack up your makeup for a trip, you're looking for some more organizational tools and accessories. And also if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for a way to pack a lot of makeup and take it overseas on a plane, etc. If you guys miss it, I'm actually traveling and working remotely on the west coast for two months escaping the winter in boston and also just visiting some family and friends over here and in doing so i needed to pack up a lot of makeup i create content for my channel i don't want to stop creating content while i am here i am working remotely and so i needed to figure out a way to pack a pretty big chunk of my makeup collection which is pretty big you guys know and bring it with me across the country on a plane and yes i checked it nothing broke nothing leaked everything was perfect so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys the case that i brought how i packed it all the little accessories that I think you guys are going to be interested in that you can pick up yourself. Everything will be linked down below. And of course, I'm also going to show you my makeup favorites that I packed with me on this trip. So if you guys want to see everything that I brought and hear all my tips, then keep watching. And if this is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia. Every single week I upload new content on luxury beauty. I do a lot of new beauty reviews. We talk about new beauty releases. I do favorites videos, tag videos. I also cover a little bit of luxury fashion and lifestyle. So if that is of interest to you, then you're in the right place my friend hit that subscribe button to join our fam and you can click the notification bell to hear about every time i upload a new video okay party people without further ado let's get into it i'm first going to show you the case and then everything that i packed up inside don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and of course comment down below to let me know all of your thoughts and your travel makeup tips let's get started Alrighty, so before i show you guys how i pack this and some of the little tools that i use to kind of give you guys some tips on makeup organization and travel makeup I did just want to give you an overview of this case. I purchased this on Amazon. It's actually a multi-part set and this is the main piece in the set which is this sort of swivel case and you guys will see what it looks like inside in a second but it has really nice swivelly wheels it has a top handle right here you've got a side pocket here that I use to put a lot of my synthetic brushes and then you also have a front pocket here and then you have um, another pocket here that stores brushes i'll just show you guys this is actually where i put a lot of my like really large sonia g food Day brushes and as long as you lay everything perfectly flat when you close it nothing like literally nothing was out of place it just kind of really locks in presses them firmly so that they don't jostle around while in flight i just want to show you as well you can also put more brushes here just depends on like how many of them you want touching but in addition to this case this set also comes with an additional case that sort of slides on top as i'm sure you've seen from a lot of other like you know luggage and that kind of stuff and that case it's just a smaller version of this so if you need to sort of extend your storage you can slide that on which is great the one that slides on it's a little bit bigger than the one that i showed you guys in my travel makeup video i'll link that down below in case you guys want to see you it's sort of like a pack with me vlog where I show you how I pack my makeup for a warm weather trip. That one is a little bit smaller, okay? So that one is small. The one that slides on here is more medium. And then I would probably call this one jumbo. The other thing that this comes with, which is pretty dope, but didn't really work out for this trip, is that it comes with these really cool brush holders that sort of lock in on the side of the other case. I'll put some images of the, you know, Amazon listing here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is awesome because, you know, I did this and I'm just organizing my brushes and putting them into like little cups and stuff. But if you're a makeup artist, you can use those little vessels to just hold your brushes and they actually have straps so you can strap them on to your waist while you do your makeup or somebody else's makeup. Personally, I really just tried to fit everything in this one case because I was going to be checking it and I knew that if I had all these other bits and bobs and other cases strapped onto it, I wouldn't be able to check it. So my goal here was to pack everything super tightly and cleanly with like a little bit of space if I bought something so that I could check it on a plane and have nothing 
break. But if you weren't doing that, you could totally use the other pieces, pop it in your car, roll it about, etc. So now that you guys have an overview of this case, you know, I already showed you the brushes here. I'm going to show you inside how I packed it, some of the fun little tools that I think you guys will like for your own purposes, and then of course what I brought with me. All right, friends, welcome to my hands. Now for the great unveiling, this is what it looks like inside of this case. As you can see, everything is pretty tightly and securely packed in here, and I do think that was key in making sure that nothing was going to break. Quick little tour right here. This case comes with these little foam inserts and you basically can kind of configure it to your liking. I think there was one insert that I chose not to add here so that I could fit another, well, you'll see, I could fit kind of like another little makeup case in here. But these little foam inserts, this is what I have on my smaller travel makeup bag that I mentioned before. And this really helps provide a little bit of extra protection for your item. So I have some pretty deep compartments in this case. And then right up here, which we'll kind of go into a little bit later, there are some mesh pockets and I've just placed some accessories and some sort of things that I want easy access to that I use all the time when I'm using my makeup. So we'll get to that sort of at the end. So as I mentioned here, we have these pretty deep like troughs in this makeup case. If you have a smaller case, it's gonna be much more shallow so you can probably slot you know foundations and palettes in like you guys saw in the other video with this one however it was a little bit tricky for me to figure out because they were so deep so let me show you how I did this the first little organizational item that I want to show you all are these handy little cylinders I would have never thought to buy these but Amazon actually suggested these to me I'm gonna show you guys what I packed in here but first let me show you how awesome these are so these actually open up like this so they kind of click closed and then you can open them up and you guys will see here I put all of my eye brushes in this one I put all my uh, sort of larger face brushes in that front pocket like you guys saw but what's great is that once you get to your destination you can just like use this as a little tool to display your brushes so that you have easy access and you can always put something else on this side. The other thing that is cool about this, you can adjust it. So if you have some taller brushes, you could just lock it in right here. And so that way you have room for all your things, which you guys will see in a second. I have some eyeliners that are a little bit longer because they might be new. They're not as stubby. And so this allows me to kind of configure it to whatever length I need. Just be careful if you have brushes in here, you don't want to like have it stored like this obviously i had mine just stored um like this and you know what it was perfectly fine i really had no issues and because this case is so deep i was really able to kind of lie these on top I'll also mention that this case you'll see there's these little straps here that i can tighten so that it stands up without the top flipping over which is quite nice and because it is not hard on the top if this kind of bulges out a little bit here it really you can still close it like you have a little bit of wiggle room there so i just want to show you put some brushes in there and then i also have this one i actually I actually labeled them. I forgot to show you guys. This one is all of my mascara and brow stuff. So I've got like my Cali Ray mascara. I've got my Kosas brow pop, my Glossier brow flick, the Chantecai mascara right here. This um, magnetic lash glue for my Moxie lash lashes. I brought the Lancome mascara and then I've got the one from Hourglass. So you guys will see anything that is in long form, I popped into these little guys. I also have, sorry for the noise, I have all of my eyeliners and I don't think you will be surprised to see which ones I bought. I've got a bunch of the newer shades of the Victoria Beckham, which as you can see, this is the one I had to kind of adjust because these eyeliners are longer than some of the other ones that I brought. I have the Lancome, some Urban Decay ones in here. I also put lip liners, so I have some from Lisa Eldridge and Charlotte Tilbury in here. I have all of the shades of my Chanel Yo Waterproof eyeliners in here. So quite a bit. I really just tried to pick the ones that I use the most that I'm most likely to reach for. And when I was packing this, actually, I just kind of dumped a bunch of favorite products out on a table. I organized them into each category, you know, being 
the ones that you guys are going to see here in a second. And then I just slowly narrowed them down, trying to eliminate things that, you know, were sort of dupes for each other. I didn't film a pack with me vlog just because I just filmed one the other day. <laughs> Guys, I would have gone insane. Like, it's very stressful to pack for a two month trip. So I was like, you know what? I'll just show you the end result. I also packed all of my Charlotte Tilbury blush wands. So you see, I've labeled this blush wands. The way that I like to label these is actually not with a label maker. I like to use a little marker. So, and this is how I display them in my drawer. So that way I can sort of just see up top. I love these so much. I just brought every single color. I'd rather bring one item and bring every single color than bring a bunch of like random liquid highlighters because it's just, I don't know, it's more fun for me. It's more like makeup artisty and it also just helps me from like a review standpoint. So a lot of times the things I bring, it kind of depends on the content that I want to create. You guys will notice right here, I also have my label maker. I feel like we've talked about this so many times on my channel. I will link it down below. A lot of you have purchased this. A lot of you love this and you send me photos of your organized collection. So if you guys see labels on any of these things, it's uh, created using this little label maker and it makes the cutest little sound when you turn it on. So the next thing I want to show you is key. These are what actually really helped me pack this case because like I said, I sat down to pack this and I realized just how deep these troughs go. And I was like, oh shoot, how am I gonna pack this in a way that it's easy to get things in and out? And so I went on Amazon and I bought these babies. These are these really cute, what would you call them? They're just makeup pouches. But what's nice about them is that they're clear on both sides. So you can see right there. And then they have this really nice little handle. So this is actually, oh, say hi to Minnie. This is actually really great if you, maybe you don't have this huge case. You're not gonna bring this much makeup on a trip. You're not a creator, you're not a makeup artist. You just want a really nice travel makeup bag. These are fantastic. You could have two or three of them. You could stack them up in your suitcase. And because they are soft, they aren't gonna take up a lot of room. They're a little bit mushy, if that makes sense. So what's nice about this is that I can just about fit two of these stacked like this in the troughs. There's a little bit of excess on top. You can see here, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's perfect enough so that when I close this, everything is secure. I don't have trouble closing it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So this first little bag has all of my foundations and concealers. So let me show you some of the things that I brought. I brought the RMS Beauty, what is this? The Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. I just had that gifted to me the other day, so I'm kind of checking it out. I've got my Cali Ray skin tint, my Fenty Beauty skin tint. I was like, you know what? How about some skin tint? Oh. Oh, look who's coming over here. No, I'm filming my video, Minnie. I also have the Chantecaille foundation, the Chantecaille stick concealer. I'm actually filming today my review of the new Tom Ford concealer. And so I've got that in here and I've got my other stick concealers from Clay de Peau and Chantecaille. I've got my Clay de Peau radiant cream foundation, my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. The only like other really full size foundations that I brought are the Chanel Sublimage because I want to film a review of this and kind of compare it against the Chantecaille and also the Chanel number no. one. I wouldn't normally bring like these glass bottles with me, but I brought these because I'm probably gonna do some reviews and I wanna show you guys the packaging. What I normally would do is use these other little tools in here. So let me show you those. So what I normally would do is I would do something like this. So this is the Suku Cream Foundation and I've just depotted it into this little container. I also have the Lisa Eldridge Foundation, which if you guys have ever used this, you know, it's pretty potent. You really only need like one pump per face. So it's in a tiny little container here. I'm gonna link all these down below. And then you guys have seen these before. These are so, so great and they never leak. A bunch of you guys were asking me the other day like do they leak though I've never had them leak maybe a little bit right here but they never leak out of the actual cap so these are little mini pump bottles sorry if I sound like a broken record and I'm talking about these all the time I use these for depotting my foundations and then I label them so you guys see I have the the Arc Glow Lust. I've got the Pat McGrath Foundation, the House Labs Foundation, the Chanel Water Fresh Tint, the Chanel Le Beige Foundation, the um, KVD Good Apple Balm, because this is just so 
travel friendly. It's not the most luxurious packaging, but it is very travel friendly. So that's what I have for all of my foundations and concealers. I know it's very excessive, but once again, friends, because I'm creating content, I wanted to kind of bring a lot with me, but also this is a little bit of a social experiment to see if I <laughs> if I end up using this and if it ends up paying off at the end. So maybe I'll do a follow-up video or like a favorites video and let you guys know if I ended up using half of this stuff. Okie dokie, so let's get the foundations and stuff out of the way. I am gonna try and label like the tops of these and see if that'll work, but it's a little hard for me to remember where everything is right now because I just started using this. But let me show you what else I brought. So here are all of my cream products. Obviously things kind of jostle around a little bit in here, but when they are in the, just kind of the slots right here, they stay in place enough that nothing is really gonna break. And especially with the cream products, it's kind of okay if they get a little bit jostled around. You guys will see right here, I've got my Chanel Water Fresh blushes in deep apricot and deep bronze in those little pump bottles. This type of liquidy format is really good for the pump bottles. If you have something that's thicker, like the Chantecaille foundation, for example, or, you know, like the Chanel Sublimage, I don't recommend using these pumps because it is not gonna come out of there. It's gonna be way, way, way too thick. I also have here all of my Tower 28 products. I've got the Bronzino. I've got the new Sculptino that I demoed for you guys the other day. I also have almost all of the shades of the Tower 28 blushes in here. I just haven't been using these as much lately and I'm getting back into these and I really wanna use my cream products while I'm here because it's pretty dry and it's also fairly warm. I also brought one of my Rose Ink blushes in the shade Fox Glove, which is really pretty. I've got that new Danessa Myricks blush in the shade Jubilee that I demoed for you all in my trying new makeup video. Every single shade of the Glossier Cloud paints, my Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palettes. I have those labeled as well. I thought that these were very makeup artisty and would be good for packing for this type of trip. In terms of cream bronzer and highlighter, I have a little travel size of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the NARS Lug Laguna bronzer in the shade Laguna Ones. The other cream bronzer that I brought is the Milk. This is the Bionic, I believe. Yeah, Bionic bronzer. This is really great. Thought it'd be good to have like a solid and one liquid. I've got the RMS Living Luminizer that I demoed for you all, once again, in my trying new makeup video. The Westman Atelier Face Trick face trace stick in the shade Biscuit. And then lastly, I brought the Chantecaille Cheek Gelée, and this is in the shade Lively. This is the only one that I have so far. I'd like to try some new ones, but just haven't, you know, splurged for it just yet. So those are all of the cream products that I brought. All right, moving along, we have the next little case right here. And these are all of my powder blushes. Pretty easy to see. You guys can probably already tell what I brought here. I have every single shade of the RMS blushes right here. I got French Rose. We've got Mai Tai right here. So I, I do want to do a review of all of these. And I also think that I get a lot of comparison requests for these. So that's why um, I brought all of these along. I also brought all of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blushes, the shade Sun Drunk, beautiful shade. There's only one here that is a little bit broken, but it was, it was broken beforehand, to be honest with you. And it actually was pretty fine. Like it didn't kind of exacerbate it. It was at my own risk. So I have all of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blushes. I also have one of my faves, the Chanel Blush from last year in the shade Brun Russi. I also have my new Chanel blush in the color Alizane or Alizane, which I believe means chestnut. I looked this up. I think it means chestnut. And I know I pronounced it wrong in my last video, so I'm so sorry, guys. This is new. Absolutely love it. You guys can kind of tell my taste in blush by those two colors. I also have the new, or this isn't new, sorry, but it's new to me, the Dior Backstage pink blush, which once again, good for comparisons, but I also really love it. And then I brought a bunch of the Suku Pure Color Blush. I just love these. I think they're so pretty. You can use them in a bunch of different ways. You could put them on the eyes. You can kind of create your own shade. They're such lovely blushes. And so I just brought a bunch of shades in these. And in addition, these are super travel friendly. They really, I've never had an issue with any of them breaking. And see how nice and compact and slim, slimly they fit into the pouch right here. 
here. So these are all of the powder blushes that I brought. In this bag right here, I have what are powder highlighters and bronzers. I didn't bring every shade, but I did bring several. I brought six of the Dior Forever Couture Luminizers. I just know they're gonna be launching that new summer collection at some point, maybe while I'm here. I wanna be able to do some comparisons with you know the ones from last year, like this one. This is Pink Riviera. And for situations where I can't fit the label, I will take a very tiny little Sharpie and I'll just write it on the outside like that and that allows me to read it when I am you know looking in my drawer and whatnot. I also have the new Hermes bronzer. already filmed my review of this. I think by the time you guys see this video it, it might not be live yet because it actually hasn't been released in the US. I've got my Guerlain Terracotta Light Warm. The warm one is my favorite but honestly guys I, I love them all. I like the cool one as well. Dior Backstage Highlighting Palettes. Once again these are very like makeup artisty type of products which are great for travel and these really don't break you'll see that this one it was already actually already broken I just have that in there it's because I used it so much it's not because I you know traveled with it or anything like that I also have one of the Chanel luminizers I decided to bring this one or rose from the holiday collection once the spring collection is launched I do want to do some comparisons with those and then I've got the Tom Ford shade and illuminate contour and then I've got the Wayne Goss bronzer and contour duo I thought it would be nice to have a lighter more natural bronzer and then a powder contour as well since my other contours are cream style one of my favorite bronzers of all time I've got the Victoria Beckham matte bronzing brick in the shade two this is the one that I use the most not travel friendly at all but you know what friends it's so much of a favorite that I bring it on almost every single trip so I've got these and then I've also got don't forget the Charlotte Tilbury glow light beauty wands i have plenty of highlighters to work with we're getting there friends in this one right here these are all of the lip products that i brought i'm perfectly fine with these just jumbling around in here there's really no way for me to prevent them from being like that but you know what it's kind of okay because this slot is actually the one that is the most narrow and so i'm able to kind of mush this into a flatter a, you know a flatter rectangle let me show you a couple of the ones that i brought on this trip i've got my new guerlain rosy bloom in here i hope that this lipstick comes back in sock because it is so so beautiful i've got one of the fenty lip stains in the shade berry banger this is my favorite shade it's the bright purple one i've got this nice nude gloss from pat mcgrath in faux real two of the rose ink lipsticks these are in very natural shades i just think that these are really super nice romantic shades they're in these shades graceful and persuasive if i'm not mistaken i've got the new Hermes summer lipstick that I demoed for you guys in my trying new makeup video. A couple of the Dior lip maximizers in the hollow lavender. This is in shimmering strawberry. Chanel long wear shades in the shades shocking pink and I think this is intense caramel. That's what that is. I've got most of my YSL Rouge Volupte shines in my favorite colors. I've also got a couple of the Candy Glaze ones, one of the Tower 28 lip glosses. This is the shade Cashew. It's just like a nice, you know, a nice nude. I also have this jelly one from them. This is in the, this is in the color XOXO. And then I've got some Chantecaille Lip Sheiks. This is the shade Ruby and this is the shade Capucine. So we've got some bright colors to kind of balance out the nudes. I have obviously Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Catwalking, the absolute best nude ever. And then from Miss Lisa Eldridge, I brought Velvet Sorcery and I brought Velvet Decade, two of my favorites. Actually, not lastly, I want to show you guys as well. I brought some of the Merit Signature Lightweight Lipsticks in the shades Fashion and Tiger. We've got some nudes, we've got some bright colors, we have some glossy bombs, we've got some lip glosses. So between all of these, I have enough favorites that kind of work for any look, any occasion. And we are getting close, friends. Can you believe I packed all this makeup in this one case? This is the last little case here, and this is eyeshadow palettes, and 
and then I've got some other palettes stuck uh, just kind of you know very carefully and securely in these other slots right here you can probably see right off the bat I brought some Viseart palettes so I've got Soleil La Plage palette that I brought with me on my last trip I've got the Mink Set palette which I love the Guerlain Mystic Peacock palette you guys know I recently reviewed the Tom Ford Electric Cherry palette for you so I brought that in addition to the Tom Ford Forbidden Pink very happy that I didn't get any breakage with this palette because the creme formula is not the best to travel with but this one seemed fine like two of my other palettes have shattered I also brought Tom Ford nude dip I also brought Tom Ford tiger eye once again a creme formula Tom Ford honeymoon I have on the bottom my two custom Viseart palettes that I made with you guys in that custom palette video if you're new here I basically designed these palettes and I showed you how you could repurpose some palettes that maybe you have in your collection that you don't use that much. So I've got the warm palette and also the cool toned palette. I have a couple of Dior quints here, including soft cashmere, really great cool tones. I've got the two Dior, Rev Dior Riviera ones from last year. I also thought organza would be really pretty because it's just like a nice springtime palette, you know, nice and neutral, a little pop of like coral. Thought that that would be really pretty. I've got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Dreams. And then in terms of all of the singles, I brought Victoria Beckham in the shade Mink. I've got this bodyography one, which is called Celestial. Oh my gosh, this is so, I know it doesn't look like much in the little jar, but it's very multi-dimensional and really beautiful. And then I also brought these two new ones that I got from Sephora collection that I've been raving about. And they're very affordable. They're $10, which is maybe a little bit, I mean, it's a, it's a single shadow, $10. I think they could probably be less, but they're still much more affordable than anything else at Sephora. And these are gonna go on sale during the Sephora sale when everything is 30% off. Oh, and I also have here the little Natasha Denona mini gold palette. And I brought this one because I looked at all the palettes and I was like, you know what? I don't have anything that is grungy or any kind of khaki or green. So I mentioned that I had a couple of other palettes that were stuck down here because they don't really fit in the bags and that would be the most secure way to store them. So here I have a couple Natasha Denona midi palettes. I wanted to cover a range of tones and colors. I really wanted to play around more with the new retro glam palette. I thought that this is such a fun springy palette. We could do like a fun, you know, spring get ready with me, maybe around, you know, the Easter break sort of time frame. I also brought the Sunrise palette, which ugh, this is probably this is like my favorite midi palette, I think, from Natasha Denona. I also brought the Glam palette. I have another video uh, that I'm thinking of doing with this as well, showing you guys how to create a very specific type of look. So these are the larger palettes that I brought. Down here and there, I have some other palettes as well. You guys will notice I've got the two new blush and eye palettes from Chanel. I reviewed these for you guys as a part of the spring collection. At the time of me filming this video, they're not available yet online, but I just knew I had to bring these. They're very multi-purpose, they're travel friendly, just fantastic. I've really been liking them and I like the I like the tones. I think they're kind of good for all year round for moi. And then down here, I've got a couple other sort of multi-purpose palettes. We've got, of course, the NARS Orgasm on the Beach. How could I forget this? I believe it's still available and on sale, so I will link it down below. I've got the Tiger Palette from Hourglass as something that's a little bit brighter and punchier. And then also the Hourglass, which one is this? The Sculpture Palette. The Sculpture Palette, because this one's more muted and good for kind of every day. And then the Tiger Palette is good if I want something a little bit more fun. And then another favorite that I knew I had to bring is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk face palette that came out for, I guess it was holiday of last year. So these are kind of like the multi-purpose face palettes that I brought. And then the last couple of palettes that were just in that little corner are the Christian Dior Meets a Palette. Reviewed this for you guys. It's another new spring release that a lot of you said, you gotta bring that on your trip. I also needed to bring a little bit of Danessa Myricks. This is the Lightwork Volume 3, the mini one. And this is so travel friendly. And I like this if I wanna go in for like 
like a fun duochrome look. There's a lot of nice finishes in this palette. It's definitely one of my favorites. And then I also brought the Isamea Industrial Palette because just like I said with the Natasha Denona Mini Gold, I just wanted something that was totally different. Like I looked at the other palettes that I brought and I didn't bring anything kind of smoky and dark and grungy like this one. So I thought that this one was a great pick as well. And lastly, friends, I wanna show you all the little treats that I have in these pockets. There's some really great little suggestions here that I'm excited to show you all. So let's open up this slot right here. You can see I packed a couple lashes. Even though I don't wear lashes that much in my reviews because I'm trying to like show you guys the most natural types of looks, I do wear these on the weekends. I'm probably, you know, gonna be going out. I have like an event or two that I need to go to. So I have my magnetic ones from Moxie Lash right here. Love these. These are kind of the most wearable ones for me. And then I also packed some of the ones from BK Beauty and Risa Does Makeup. These are the ones I wore in my Valentine's get ready with me. They're so good. And the band is so thin and flexible. They're very easy to put on. So I thought it would be good to bring these and the magnetic ones because those are just the easiest ones for me to wear. Then I brought my brush cleaning supplies right here. So I know this looks gross, but it just gets stained over time. I use this little scrubby mitt. I'll link it down below. You just pop it on your hand like this, and then you can kind of wash the brush on the surface it just kind of helps gently scrub away the residue this is the brush soap that i use i also have the one from refer but i'm trying to use this one up first before i go opening up other ones so refer has a really good one i'll link it down below and then this brand is called alori pro i've noticed like sometimes their website is live and sometimes it's not but whatever this is the one that i like i know it looks kind of gross but you just swirl it around in there and it's very very gentle so if you have any expensive or inexpensive brushes. This is really great and doesn't strip the bristles. And I have the unscented one, but they have a lot of other fun scents. Try and see if their website is open. I don't know if maybe they just like sell out a lot and then they have releases. I don't really know, friends, but this was recommended to me by another creator. I'll link this and some of the other brush soaps that I recommend down below because there's so many good ones out there. And then in these little slots, I have just things that I reach for pretty regularly or like minis and stuff. This is the little brush that comes with the Chanel Sublimage foundation. So I just kind of popped it in there because it doesn't fit super well in the other containers. I also have some travel fragrances. This is from Guerlain. If you get one of their like super fancy glass bottle fragrances in a boutique or online, you also get this little like travel automizer. And so you can take the fragrance and put it in here so it's a little bit easier to spray and travel with. Also really great for traveling with your fragrances. My boyfriend actually got these for me because he knows I love my perfumes and I like to travel with them. These are little travel automizers. And so you can see that the fluid is right in there. And the way that these work is that you just pump the fragrance straight from your fragrance bottle into this little bit, the little butt at the bottom. You kind of just like go like that and it dispenses the product into the packaging into the component right here and then you are good to go and you can just spray this i haven't had any issues with them leaking so right here i have aqua de parma colonia and then i have Mugler alien so these are the two that i decided to dispense um they're very you know very affordable so highly recommend i'll try and figure out which ones he got and link them down below i also have some little mini le labo fragrances here as well they have really good like trial sets that you can buy from them. I also have my favorite lip balm here, which is the Dioratic Lip Sugar Scrub. So, so good. It's great for prepping the lips. And then I have a little mini Hourglass Ambient Light Powder because I just use this for blending. So I kind of just pop that in there whenever I need to blend things out. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, we have this little pocket down here. And once again, it's full of little tools. So I have a little Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I'm not a big primer person, but I'll bring a little travel size. I also have this little MAC single in the shade Orb, which I also, once again, I just kind of use that for blending. I have two fresh sharpeners here from Victoria Beckham Beauty because I just bought that new shade in the shade Surfside. So I decided to pack those because they were clean. I also have my little Moxie Lash scissors for trimming lashes or pretty much anything. Like if you're opening up 
a little package or something. These definitely come in handy. I have another little sharpener here in the corner and then I've got these two little clips for my hair. So whenever I'm starting to get ready, if I need to pin my hair back, then these are my little hair clips. So yeah, friends, here is our relatively empty case here. I showed you everything that I brought. We're gonna head on over to the outro. But before we do, just say goodbye to little Minnie who sat here and kept me company the entire time. She is the best. All right, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You guys seem very interested to see how I packed my case. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. And definitely sound off in those comments down below. I would love to hear all of your thoughts. Did you pick up any good tips here? I feel like we're on a good roll here this year with sort of decluttering, makeup organization, using what we have, buying new things, but also kind of keeping organized with that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, definitely head on over to my channel page to check out the rest of my content and consider subscribing to my channel. And with that, friends, I hope that you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.